Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and discussing the character Eugene from the Season 8 finale, The Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 16, Wrath. With that being said, major warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to episode 816, and let's jump right into this. So, season 8 is officially over, and Fear the Walking Dead season 4 has begun. So it looks like Fear season 4 will take place between the Walking Dead seasons 8 and 9, as it's pretty much confirmed that there will be a 2-4 to four year time skip going into season 9, just like the comics, as Scott Gimple said in recent interviews, season 9 is going to be like an entirely new show. With that being said, we have a lot to discuss involving the season 8 finale and everything that is wrapped up along with how it'll affect the show as a whole moving forward. Today, I wanted to discuss Eugene's situation going into the Season 8 finale, along with how he totally saved the day for everyone and somehow managed to redeem himself at the same time. When I first had Andrew Lincoln read me the finale script, I got most excited that Eugene saves the day. He seized on an opportunity to keep as many people alive as he could and really helped get Negan captured. But before we do that, let's go ahead and back up for a minute and focus on how Eugene even got into this situation in the first place. Eugene only accepted Negan's side due to being able to keep himself safe, as he's always been about self-preservation, and this is no different. Eugene put on a show for Abraham and Rosita to keep him safe, and now he's doing the same thing for Negan and the Saviors. It was hard for Eugene to accept things for how they were, but he was easily manipulated by Negan and given everything he could ever possibly want. The Alexandrians are mad at Eugene for giving in to Negan's temptations instead of holding out in a cell like Sasha did, for example, because I bet Sasha would have gotten just as amazing treatment if she would have just done things Negan's way, but she would have rather died, and well, she did. Now, Eugene still realized that what he was doing was wrong, and he felt guilty for it. He told Negan over and over again that the Alexandrians were nothing more than traveling companions, but I believe that he was lying to Negan as much as he was himself. Eugene cares about Rosita and the others, which made it so hard for him to help the saviors knowing it would only hurt his friends. Eugene developed a drinking problem to try and ignore the guilty conscience that he has, but he was only able to keep that up for so long. Eventually, the liquor stopped helping as much, and it was driving Eugene insane. Eugene was never doing a long con, he was always just making decisions based off of what was best for him. Now, in episode 815, Rosita and Daryl captured Eugene, leading to the fake out, making us think that Eugene was fully on Negan's side. Okay, so when they captured him, Eugene tried pleading his case, but Rosita quickly shut him up. Rosita lashed out at Eugene, telling him that they'd make him rot in a cell, only to use his mind to do something useful when they need him. Rosita was showing Eugene that her opinion of him hasn't changed since he was captured way back halfway through Season 7, and in fact, her opinion of him has just gotten worse, because Eugene was blamed as the reason why the saviors even escaped the sanctuary. Eugene tried explaining his difficult position, but Rosita didn't want to hear it out whatsoever. I don't blame Rosita for being as mad as she was, but she definitely didn't need to communicate all of her harsh feelings until they got Eugene back safely. And so, as you may recall, Eugene actually got away, making all of this seem somewhat pointless. What was the point of Rosita and Daryl going and trying to kidnap Eugene if he was just going to get away and go right back to where he was in the first place? Well, originally he was supposed to convince the viewers that Eugene was full-blown Negan now, even more so than he was before as he is now offended by everything Rosita said. Not only did she yell at him while shoving a gun in his face, but he also overheard her telling Daryl to shoot his head off if they see him, so now he knows that they'll kill him on sight so he can't return to them or try to talk things out with them. This just pushed Eugene towards being more confident in taking Negan's side and making him ammo without feeling bad now that he's mad at how poorly Rosita treated him. It was shitty that they were using this as an excuse for Eugene to ignore his guilty conscience to create Negan a full stockpile of ammo, but that's just what the show writers wanted us to think. When Eugene sat down at the end of episode 815 and stated that they should do something with their pathetic lives, it was originally supposed to imply that Eugene was sort of turning the line Rosita said to him back at her, as it looked like he was determined to make those bullets for Negan. We now know that this actually was not the case, as Eugene ended up making faulty rounds for Negan and his men, and they ended up blowing up and ruining their plans. So, the doing something with our pathetic lives line can be taken multiple ways and it was definitely meant to throw us off. We were originally supposed to think that Eugene was fueled by anger to create ammo for Negan to defeat Rosita and prove to her that he isn't so pathetic and useless, but now we know that he actually took her words to heart and decided to go back to the ammo factory and prove himself to her in a positive way instead. Eugene actually did get the idea to make faulty rounds from Father Gabriel, and it wasn't until Rosita gave him a hard time that he felt motivated 
to do it for himself. I thought that Eugene would have come up with this idea on his own and I would have preferred that, but at least the writers were trying to give an explanation behind it instead of just randomly saying, well, Eugene just woke up one day and decided to sabotage Negan. This gave more of a reasoning for Eugene to do what he did along with faking us out at the same time. Now, Eugene making Negan faulty ammo has been a popular theory since Season 7, Episode 8, so it's been a long time coming. Josh McDermott even says in the Talking Dead interview that Eugene wasn't playing a long con and that he was always just doing what was best for himself. It was only the events that happened recently in the past few episodes that linked together and caused Eugene to make the decision to create the faulty ammo. It never was a long con with this guy. For him, it's all about self-preservation. This is a man who only wanted to survive himself, and he would prefer it if other people didn't die, but if that happens, well, that's the price we have to pay within this world. So, I can't tell if the people who predicted this saw through Eugene's fakeout and actually realized how Rosita motivated him, or if they were just blindly believing in Eugene, hoping that he would pull through somehow. Did anyone actually see through the double meaning of the line, let's do something with our pathetic lives, or was everyone just hoping that Eugene would redeem himself? Himself one way or another. I never saw any comments theorizing exactly what motivated Eugene or changed his mind, but people definitely believed in him pulling through. I feel like most people supporting Eugene were just supporting him for the sake of him wanting to bounce back, and I was hoping that Eugene would redeem himself somehow, but I was doubtful that he would actually create the faulty rounds, and I was definitely not expecting him to save the entire day because of it. I think it was unrealistic to have him seem that determined, as it was only meant to fool the audience. Yes, he was putting on a show for Negan when he delivered the ammo and asked for a ride along in episode 816, but in episode 815 when he returned to the factory, he seemed so genuinely pissed off and I definitely fell for it, thinking that Eugene was just simply angry at Rosita for what she said. I didn't think twice about it during my first watch through of the scene, but now I watch through the scene with a completely different perspective and I appreciate it in a different way. I'm not too sure if this was intentional replayability or if it just worked out that way, but it reminds me of what Yvette Nicole Brown said on Talking Dead about how if you rewatch episode 808, the mid-season finale for the second time after finding out that Carl was bitten, you'll watch it in a completely different way as you now realize why Carl is doing and saying the things that he was. At first, I thought it was stupid how Eugene did end up making the faulty rounds just because of the way they've been showing his character. I was denying it before the episode came out because they really were trying to get us to believe that Rosita pissed off Eugene enough to want to retaliate by creating Negan ammo. They made Eugene seem so genuine and as I said, it was for no one else other than the audience. No one at the ammo factory understood the significance of the line, let's do something with our pathetic lives, since the workers who heard Eugene say the line weren't there to hear Rosita say it to him originally. Likewise, Rosita wasn't there at the ammo factory to hear Eugene repeat it. This was meant to fake out the audience and nothing more, which I do think was a bit cheap even though it worked. Yes, they got me, but that's just because I was so genuinely confused as to how Rick was going to get out of that situation getting ambushed. I thought that Eugene actually actually making faulty rounds would have been too stupid at this point to actually happen, but hey, never say never, right? I was genuinely surprised when all the guns backfired on all the saviors because it kind of felt like a stupid way to set up Eugene for this situation. In my previous video about Eugene, I said that they'd have to give him a huge redemption for Team Family to even consider forgiving him, and yeah, this was pretty much it. Negan had everyone from the hilltop surrounded, and it was over. If not for Eugene, they would have won, so it literally was Eugene who saved the day. That being said, it was really ballsy for him to actually go there and see it happen for himself. Before, when he told Negan that this was something that he needed to see, we thought that he was talking about Rick's men all getting murdered. We now know that Eugene actually wanted to go to the final fight to see his faulty rounds backfire on Negan's men for himself. I thought that this would have been way too ballsy to do considering that he was standing right beside Negan, but I guess it was a little hard for Negan to give him shit with an injured hand, no ammo, while all of his men were stunned. I never considered just how injured and stunned Negan and his men would be from the bullets backfiring, so I want to ask anyone who knows anything about guns, was this realistic? Do you think that it would have went down like this in real life, or did it feel a bit forced? 
Well, anyways, Negan ended up retreating due to Father Gabriel and Dwight teaming up on him, and at that point, the war was pretty much won. I'm glad that it wasn't Oceanside coming to save the day during a big battle between Rick and Negan, as that would have just taken away from it. Although, I am surprised that Eugene pulled through on this one. I guess I do enjoy the choice that they made to have Eugene save the day and redeem himself at the same time. They had me fooled thinking that Eugene was going to give Negan all the ammo he needed as revenge, but I guess that Rosita's outlash was enough motivation motivation for Eugene to want to prove himself for them once and for all. Eugene was probably sick and tired of getting seen as nothing other than the bullet maker, so I guess he really wanted to prove himself. Looking on the episode in hindsight, it does help wrap up Eugene's story arc nicely as it concludes his inner battles of whether or not to support Negan along with adding a twist to the final battle itself. His arc ended up being the final factor that caused Rick to win the war, and I can't wait to see Rick and Eugene work things out in Season 9 and get back on the same page once more. I feel like Rick may give Eugene a hard time, but they'll realize how helpful he is to their situation. I imagine Eugene and Aiden helping rebuild the communities by Season 9 using that book called The Key, but let me know what you guys think. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as it really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon as well. There's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as a chance to directly influence the videos being produced, link in the description. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out! So, for him to save the day in the end, to get some self-fulfillment, out of that, he's still alive. He got to save other people's lives. Eugene gets to be the hero and actually do something useful with his pathetic life, and I, I enjoyed that.